this is Alexandra with Beataholic, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Cast and Craft Easy Mold Silicone Paste with Fast Cast Urethane Casting Resin. Now I've chosen some found objects here, well, natural objects, um, a sea urchin, which is a great idea to cast because it's so fragile otherwise that this way, um, once, once it's hard and dry, you can actually drill this stuff. So um, what I did was put a piece of tape down in that hole and then stuffed cotton so the tape would stay. And that's gonna help with our casting. I've also got shell, rose quartz leaf, and a natural quartz spear. Um, here are a couple that we have experimented with um, for jewelry purposes, making duplicates of some of our pieces here at the studio. And this is, this is how it ends up kind of looking. Um, and a real thin piece was an experiment. It's a bit, maybe a bit thin. So I wanted to show you what the result would be if you tried to do a very narrow um, cast like that. All right, so the product comes in two different sizes. There's a half pound size of the Easy Mold and a one pound size of the Easy Mold. Then there's an eight ounce size of the Fast Cast and a 16 ounce size of the fast cast. So I'm gonna start with the easy mold. I have some that I've been working with here. Good to wear gloves, although it is non-toxic. You can actually use this with food products as well as this kind of project, um, pouring chocolate or making ice cubes. Uh, but whatever you do with food, you'll want to be sure not to mix with toxic sorts of resins and things. Um, the instructions, which you'll want to read fully, uh, suggest for more accurate measurement of part A to part B is one to one, um, that you can weigh this. But we've had a couple of successful attempts just measuring into a cup that I've um, marked with a Sharpie to get half and half. And I'm pushing the product all the way down to get the holes out of the bottom. And I'm gonna eye it as best I can to get up to that first line. So it's not a, as an exact a science as pouring clear resin, but it's worked really well for us. This is a very easy product to use, pretty fast. Um, the mold dries in three hours, and then when you pour the resin, that's fast, it dries in 10 minutes. So all things considered, it's um, pretty quick. All right, so I've got my part A there. Now I'm going to switch and get the second part. Just using a popsicle stick here. Once I get it measured, I'm gonna stir until there are no striations, until it's a light blue. And with the resin, you'll definitely wanna use the gloves because that is um, technically harmful to the skin just want to make sure you read the instructions and uh, work in a ventilated area. So I'm going to pack this in, kind of like frosting, I guess. My second line is nearly to the top there. So I'm filling it in pretty good. And now I will stir. until I get it all mixed up. I'm getting down to that darker part on the bottom and I realize I need to lift out of the corners to really get that up and stir it in. And you have 45 minutes to work with the mold so there's not a big rush on this end. Take your time making sure you get it all good and ready. Okay, so I think I've got that pretty well stirred. Take the excess off the stick there. 
and I'm going to take my paintbrush and start small. I'm going to start with this one. This is what I'm most curious about. So I'm going to do gentle circular motions, make sure I get the surface solidly covered. with a thin coat first. And once I get it completely smeared on, tight against the surface, then I'm gonna build it up a little bit around the whole thing as evenly as I can. And this mold material is best suited for a glove or blanket mold, which is a fairly thin coat, but I will wanna build it up a bit. I'm gonna take my um, popsicle stick to give some support there while I get this on. And the urchin is so light, it kind of floats around a little bit at first. But once I get the mold started down on the paper, it begins to adhere. And then it's a little easier to work with. It's sticky stuff though, definitely. Sure, I get all my edges, corners, and crevices to avoid air bubbles or breaks in the mold, including where I've held it with the popsicle stick. And I do find that circular motions tend to really help get it down in there. Take a bigger amount now. Start to build it up a bit and create enough of a border around the base that when I'm peeling it up after the three hours and it's dry that I'm not uh, folding or ripping any portion of the actual mold where the cast is going to be poured. It's pretty sturdy stuff, very flexible, um, strong. All right, so you'll see I've dabbed we can still see a little green, so I'm going to keep going a little bit on this. Um, instructions say you can quick dry it with a hair dryer on low, uh, or even bake it in the oven at 300 degrees for faster results. All right, so I've got my urchin pretty well covered there. I'm going to move on and do, go try this crystal. All right, so we're back here now after at least three hours, and I am looking forward to seeing what's inside. We're going to unveil each of these carefully, and to do that, I'm just going to test it. And it looks almost like it's still wet, but I can tell you they're firm. And so with my fingernail. I'm going to start to carefully guide that silicone off of there. And make sure I don't rip the edge. There we go. So, see how this comes out. A fun experiment. A lot of nooks and crannies on this one, so it's in there a little deeper than the other ones we've tried. Seems to be coming out really well. Just want to be gentle so I don't rip the inside. It almost feels like it's going to turn inside out. The silicone's really flexible, so I'm waiting till I feel it let go in there. Great. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got the full spiral shape of the shell. So that'll be fun to pour resin in. Let's try our next one. It's like opening a surprise bag. This is that crystal. It's 
flipped out of my hands a bit, so I'm not sure. Looks like it didn't quite get covered on that end. Let's pull it out to see what we got. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to pour because we missed the edge right there. It was worth a try, and now I know, I think I know what to do differently next time is just apply more, more pressure on there to keep it stabilized while I go slower with the, uh, the putty. So that's that. Next, oh, the urchin. Start it up there. Okay. Now some of this film over the top that's thin we can clip away if we need to, but I think it'll still pop out. Just want to be real gentle with this one. I'm excited to see how it turns out. It's really grabbing on a little more than the others, I think, because some slipped under. I'm going to go ahead and take, take this off if I can, because we won't need it for the casting that we're doing. It's going to get in the way, in fact. So hopefully it'll help this pull out a little more easily, as long as we're not disrupting the shape inside. Let's see if that helped. Getting there, I just want to be real careful because I know how fragile these are. We'll work on it a little more here. I'm gonna go slowly. Get there eventually. All right, I feel it coming off. There. Nice. Okay, last one, rose quartz leaf. This also has some that we're gonna wanna probably clip off before we pour the resin, but it looks like this is gonna come out nice and easy. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna trim that up a little bit. I'm going to get these set for pouring and put my gloves on and, uh, and then we'll start getting the urethane casting resin mixed together. Alright, so now we're going to do the fast cast urethane casting resin. And you can see I brought a box in here in order to stabilize each of the forms um, just by cutting a rudimentary hole in there and finding the, the balance spot for each of those. So we're going to do equal parts of A and B of the resin. This is part A. And I have once again measured half and half one tablespoon of each portion. So I'm going to go ahead and pour up to the first line. And unlike the mold, this requires a pretty quick stir and pour. Here's my part two. B. So I stir for 30 seconds in the first cup, and then I'm going to pour into that second cup. For another 30 seconds, I'll stir in that one to make sure we get a nice even mixture. I think I have enough resin for all these pieces. We'll see. That shell was deeper than our other project so far. Okay. 
Well, I don't have a timer set, but I'm gauging the time here to be at about 30 seconds. So, I'm going to use two hands and pour into my second cup. Make sure you have your gloves on at this point and a covered surface. And just be sure also to read the instructions in the box and make sure you're in the ventilated area. Alright, so two 30 second stirs. Now once we pour the resin into the molds, they should dry within about 10 minutes. So let's give this a try. I'm not concerned about spilling on my box. I want to make sure there's nothing that's going to get resin on it. But I can't clean. Looks like we're going to have just enough for all three pours. So we'll let that sit for 10 minutes and then see what we have. Okay, so we're back after about 15 minutes, we decided to give a bit of extra time to our cast. Um, these have a little more bulk than the other ones we'd tried, so it seems to have worked, let's see. Excited to see what we have here. Okay, got the leaf. Thinking that can come off with Maybe scissors or an X-Acto knife will let it, let it dry a little more. And do this one next. Cool. Excellent. That was just what I was hoping for. I would love to work with that. These can be painted and treated in different ways for color, so I'm looking forward to exploring that. Let's see the shell here. It's a bit of a deeper mold than we've tried before, so I'll have to dig it out. Feel it coming out of there. The silicone is nice and sturdy, which is great. It doesn't rip easily. There you go. Very nice. All right. So that's our bit of experience with easy mold and fast casts. Looking forward to doing more. These are available at edaholic.com. Thanks for watching.